I hope I don't peek this microphone when I start talking louder. We'll see. Yeah, try not to yell. I'll try not to. I always do I normally. I'm sure you're yelling. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is it. We're ready, right? We are rolling. Okay. Hey, Gray Steel Nation. That was yelling, wasn't it? <laughs> kind of. I think you should not be super conscious of it. It should be normal. All right. Hey, Gray Steel Nation. Sully here with the Barbell Prescription, uh, coming to you from Graysteel headquarters here in Farmington, Michigan, the center of the observable universe. Uh, and I'm here with my associate, friend, fellow coach, colleague, hey, Noah Hayden. Uh, some of you may not know Noah. Those of you who follow us on Instagram and on the patrons of Graysteel, you know Noah. Um, he coaches roughly half the clients here at Graysteel. Um, he's the coach for Blue Team. I'm the coach for Gold Team. and um, like me, uh, he's all about coaching people over 50 and getting them fitter and stronger for a healthier, uh, more vibrant life. And uh, that came out pretty well, didn't it, actually? Yeah, yeah. That was almost like rehearsed or something, except it wasn't. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Noah, hey. Grace Steel Nation, Grace Steel Nation, Noah. And today, uh, as promised, um, we have uh, our Q&A, our long-awaited Q&A. We haven't done, done one of these in a while. And they're kind of fun, and they're, they're sort of easy to do, and they make us think about stuff. Um, so... You know, we're a little bit overdue. Anyway, I guess we should get we should get going. So, um, first question's going to be mine. We have a question here from David Carreri, uh, who says, "What are your thoughts on testosterone boosters?" I hear the ads all the time. Is this something older in individuals who train should take? So, yeah, we included that question in this Q and A because we get this all the time. Um, so testosterone supplementation and related treatments, those are, in my mind, those are medical interventions mm -hmm. uh, and not training supplements. And, and we're just not in the business of giving you medical advice as a surrogate uh, for your own physician. So I'm a coach who happens to be a physician um, and, and here on this channel and in this facility, I'm a coach. So I actually don't advise people on that. There are signs and symptoms that go along with being deficient in testosterone. Um, and you know everybody knows what they are, decreased sex drive, the inability to add muscle mass despite appropriate training. Um, brain fog, I guess. Brain fog, all, kind, all, yeah. all, all kinds of stuff. And um, that's an indication not to talk to some coach on the internet, right? That's an indication to go and have a discussion with your doctor, um, get your levels tested, um, but ultimately make this an exercise of shared decision making between you and your doctor. I'm just not in the business of giving advice on this. Yeah. But what do you, what do you think? Uh, <clears throat> I am not a medical doctor at all, so I don't have to worry about any of those disclaimers. Uh, the only thing I would add is uh, those advertisements that you see on the internet all the time about boosting your testosterone. I think they're all bullshit. Can I say that? Do yeah, yeah, you can say stuff? bullshit. Okay. Yeah. yeah, especially it's, when it's bullshit. I mean, which, it's, it's bullshit. It's Come bullshit. On. It's, it's, it's just yeah. marketing stuff. Yeah. So uh, that you know, that's just going to be our standard answer. I, I feel like you know, every time we do these Q and As, we get this question. We chose yours for this one. It's not a bad question. We're not saying that. We're not saying you're stupid or anything. Some people need it. Some people don't. I mean, the only the only thing that I know that uh, actually boosts your testosterone is training. Theoretically, I'm Theoretically. actually not even so sure of that anymore. And we, we talked about this in Science Review at the Starting Strength Coaches Association conference, I don't know, six, seven years back. And I don't know, the data on it's a little bit unconvincing. If you're older and your testosterone is low to the point where it's affecting your ability to think and perform in various domains of well-being, then yeah, you probably need testosterone supplementation, but that's between you and your doctor. It's not between you and your coach. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be our stock answer to that. Thanks for the question. <laughs>